So we're here with Scotch. Tell me what's behind your music. I saw you up there kind of giving it to us, and it was amazing. So, Well, all, all the songs that you heard tonight are personal songs. I wrote them about things that I've experienced. <laughs> <laughs> the phone rang. And I will continue to write things that, you know, that mean something to me. That's the only way I've been able to write in the past. It's really hard for me to contrive a song. So those stories are, are, are things that I experienced. I don't know if you saw my... I actually had a you know little moment, but I sang, one of the songs I sang um, ended up being um, prophetic. It's about a friend of mine that actually did pass away named John, and I have not sung that song since he passed away, and that's what happened when I got a little choked up. I'm going to make like a lighter thing. Oh, like, sure. Have you ever written anything like about um, something funny like gas? Like, I have a gas problem, and I would want to know how to write, like, you know, like, it poetically, but like, oh, I have, yeah. Yes, I, I have written things like that, but um, I've not recorded them. I think you should. Well, I think you so maybe should. we can start something with you, because I am producing as well, so maybe you can sing my gassy songs. Yeah? I'm going to do that. Okay. So when you actually sit down and you write and you say, okay, is it a certain emotion that you write from? Is it a certain? Is there something that says I'm going to write now? It it varies. That's how I started. I was usually moved by something like you know. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm from a small town. I'm from Maine, and I did not even know what a homeless person was. And the first time I saw a homeless person, I I started to cry. I the, the idea that someone lived in the streets made me crazy. I couldn't imagine. It. And I wrote a, a, a song called Shopping Cart People, which I adore. Um, so that was one way that I do it, but you know, I, I, I get inspired all the time. I really do. It doesn't it comes from everywhere now? My dog, my cat. I love yeah. um, so this event not only was it to showcase your work and also Chioki's, it was also to benefit um, that organization. So knowing that it's an it's a pandemic and it is an issue that we need to really get a hold of, what would you say that your your fight? In, in this causes and how it's going to affect and what to do if you want to help. Okay, can I just first of all say that you're really good at this? Um, your questions are great. They, they sound, no, I'm serious. Um, you know what, I, I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I feel like I've been really, really blessed, but I don't think I'm blessed by some accident. I've designed my life to be the quality that it is. But I also was telling somebody earlier that I suffer from self-centered fear. I get so afraid that if I try to do something, um, I'm going to mess it up or something won't go right, that I end up doing nothing. And that is no longer a good excuse for many, me anymore. And I was asked to perform at a Napua convention. And so the face of AIDS has always been, uh, in my mind, you know, a sort of hunky, white, West Hollywood, you know, guy. And when I did these benefits, I started meeting the, all the women that I've been hearing about, the other ethnicities that I've been hearing about, you know, tons of Native Americans. I met families, and predominantly African American women, and um, generations, not just like, you know, one, but, you know, generations. And that really moved me to do something. And this might be a small gesture, but it, it's a gesture that I wasn't doing before. So now it's very important for me to do something. Every gesture counts. I believe, like, I was told if you only have a penny to give, if that penny is the only thing you have to give, give it because that could save someone's life and this is more than just a little. Well that's why the second uh, organization we're donating to tonight is Kiva.org and I don't know if you've heard of Kiva.org but it's a, um, a loan um, website that if, let's say, well I was moved by a woman who um, wanted to sell peanut butter. It, I saw it on Oprah, the Bill Clinton episode, and when I saw that I thought, wow, I can give somebody $25 and it will change their life. And not only that, they make the money, they send it back. So I can then turn around and give it to someone else. It doesn't go back in my, my pocket. I can then give it to somebody else. And I went to Guatemala and I saw how my $5 got stretched over a week for somebody. And I always think that I don't have enough money, I don't have enough money. Well, Kiva.org really allows me to give $25 to some woman that's looking for $350 and, um, and make a complete difference in her life. So, Thank you so much, Scott. My pleasure. That, Did you call me Scott? Scotch. 
scotch. I have a problem. I told you it's my tongue. 